Hello, welcome to part 2 of this series. Let's move to our first question. The joint most likely to have recurrent dislocation is Option A, ankle Option B, knee Option C, shoulder Option D, patella And the answer is Option C, shoulder Moving to our 27th question The painful arc syndrome is due to Option A, chronic supraspinatus tendonitis. Option B, subacromial bursitis. Option C, fracture of the great tubercle. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option D, all of the above. Moving to our 28th question. Hips palsy is commonly due to the injury of Option A, head involving premotor area. Option B, pelvis involving lumbosacral plexus. Option C, thoracic involving diaphragm. Option D, upper trunk of the brachial plexus involving C5, C6. And the answer is Option D, upper trunk of the brachial plexus involving C5, C6. Moving to our 29th question. The tear of the meniscus of the knee results from which of the following strain? Option A. Hyperextension Option B. Abduction Option C. Combined flexion and rotation Option D. Rotation And the answer is Option C. Combined flexion and rotation Moving to our 30th question The pathomechanism of the carpal tunnel syndrome is Option E, ulnar compression at the wrist. Option B, ulnar compression at the elbow. Option C, median nerve compression at the wrist. Option D, median nerve compression at the elbow. And the answer is Option C, median nerve compression at the wrist. Moving to our 31st question. Deputrin's contracture is the fibrosis of Option A, sartorius. Option B, foramen muscle. Option C, plantar fascia. Option D, none. And the answer is Option C, plantar fascia. Moving to our 32nd question. Industrial absorption of the calcium is dependent upon Option A, vitamin D. Option B, parathyroid hormones. Option C, calcitonin. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option A, Vitamin D. Moving to our 33rd question. Osteoporosis is a deficiency in Option A, Calcium Metabolism. Option B, Calcium Deposition. Option C, Protein Supporting Tissue. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option D, all of the above. Moving to our 34th question. Anterior dislocation of the shoulder may be complicated by Option A. Brachial plexus injury Option B. Tear of the rotator cuff Option C. Fracture of the head of the humerus Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of the above Moving to our 35th question The viscosity of the synovial fluid is mainly due to Option A. Contritin sulfide. Option B. Hydrouranase. Option C. Albumin and leucine. Option D. Alpha and beta globin. And the answer is Option B. Hydrouranase. Moving to our 36th question. The most common congenital deformity of the hind foot is telepers. Option A, calcaneus. Option B, equinus. Option C, equinovarus. Option D, varus. And the answer is Option C, equinovarus. Moving to our 37th question. The most common tumor of the small bone of the hand and feet is Option A, enchondroma. Option B, osteochondroma. Option C, osteoclastoma. Option D, calcinous osteoma. And the answer is Option A, enchondroma. Moving to our 38th question. 
In AP view of X-ray, the compression disappearance of the shadow of the lesser trochanter indicates option A, central dislocation of the hip, option B, anterior dislocation of the hip, option C, posterior dislocation of the hip, option D, fracture of the neck of femur. And the answer is Option C, posterior dislocation of the hip. Moving to our 39th question, limb shortening with adduction and internal rotation occurs in which type of hip dislocation? Option A, anterior. Option B, posterior. Option C, central. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option B, posterior. Moving to our 40th question, Bone metastasis in male commonly arise from the cancer of Option A. Lungs Option B. Prostate Option C. Kidney Option D. Thyroid And the answer is Option B. Prostate Moving to our 41st question Osteomalacia is predominantly affect the Option A. Spine Option B. Pelvis Option C. Skull bones Option D metatarsals and the answer is Option A spine Moving to our 42nd question Nelton's line joins anterior superior iliac spine to Option A CP sternum Option B pubic tubercle Option C ischial tuberosity Option D ischial spine and the answer is Option C, ischial tuberosity. Moving toward 43rd question, Brand's triangle helps to assess. Option A, fracture neck of femur. Option B, iliac crest displacement. Option C, trochanteric displacement. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is Option C, trochanteric displacement. Moving toward 44th question, most common complication of the fracture of shaft of femur is Option A. Malunion Option B. Nonunion Option C. Knee stiffness Option D. Fat embolism And the answer is Option C. Knee stiffness Moving to our 45th question The most common injury following pelvic fracture is of Option A. Bladder Option B, urethra. Option C, rectum. Option D, vagina. And the answer is Option B, urethra. Moving to a 46th question. Bennett's fracture is Option A, reverse colis fracture. Option B, fracture of the scaphoid bone in the wrist. Option C, fracture of the radial styloid or Choffard's fracture. Option D, fracture or dislocation of the first metacarpal. And the answer is Option D, fracture, dislocation of the first metacarpal. Moving to 47th question. A port's fracture is of type of fracture of the Option A. Wrist joint Option B. Angle joint Option C. Spine Option D. Foot And the answer is Option B. Angle Moving to a 48th question Purse disease is common at the age group of Option A. 1 to 5 Option B. 6 to 10 Option C. 11 to 15 Option D. 16 to 20 and the answer is Option B 6 to 10 Moving to our 49th question The sequestrum in an X-ray appears Option A dense Option B light Option C isodense as the surrounding bone Option D any of the above And the answer is Option A. Dense Moving to our 50th question Malunion of a fracture is Option A. Fracture which unites in the position of the deformity Option B. Delayed union of the fracture Option C. Non-union of the fracture Option D. Followed by pseudoarthrosis And the answer is Option A. 
option a fracture which unites in the position of the deformity so that's all for today if you need clarification for any of the question do comment in the comment box i'll be back with part 3 of this series tomorrow please do subscribe to this channel thank you